What's going on guys? This is Shane Baker with Shane Baker Studios and today I'm gonna to take you through Google Analytics. Now this is not an area that I'm super strong at, however, if you have a website, it's important to know who's coming to it and what they're doing when they get there so that you can tailor your advertisements to them when you're marketing online. So I have a very basic knowledge of what we're about to go through. However, if you don't have a website and you're not using Google Analytics, that makes me the expert to you. So here we go. This is my homepage. And what you do is you basically insert a code which links your website to Google Analytics, which allows it to talk to each other. So when people are taking action on your website, Google picks it up, tells you what it is that they're doing and how they're doing it. So here we go, here's a basic audience overview. Now I've got the time frame set from January 1st, beginning this year to today, which is May 12th, 2016. So a couple things here. Uh, it tells you what language is most popular. So English, Russian is number two, interesting. Hmm. All right, let's check out countries. It also tells you what countries. United States, Russia, Russians, what's going on there? Hopefully they're just big fans and nothing else is going on. Uh, United Kingdom, Canada, Kazakhstan, it's interesting. Germany, Sweden, Australia. Also what cities, uh, Phoenix, Chandler, Mesa. So why might this be helpful? Well, if I'm doing any kind of Facebook or Instagram marketing and I'm paying for a post, what I can do is go here to Google Analytics, see what cities are predominantly uh, pulling traffic and target Phoenix, Chandler, Mesa, Tempe, Scottsdale, LA, Gilbert, St. Petersburg, New York. So the further out you get, obviously the less impact that your advertisement's gonna have. Browsers, operating systems, really don't think that matters to me. Active users. All right, so one day active users. Uh, today we had 87 people log in uh, and check out my website. Pretty cool. Uh, seven days, 281, past 14, 323, and over the last month, 841. Now that's not a lot really, to be honest, in the scheme of things. However, if you don't have a website, it's a lot more than your zero. So this obviously doesn't include my Instagram and my Facebook. So my Instagram, I think we're just about 7,600 followers and under five, just under 5,000 for Facebook. So this doesn't account the engagement that I'm getting on those social media sites. This is just my website. So in addition to it, I'll take it, 841 extra people. So cohort analysis, no idea what this is, except that it's in beta and I failed miserably at it from zero or down to zero percent in one day, whatever that is. Uh, user Explorer, I don't know, looks confusing, we're gonna skip it. All right, cool. Overview, now this is also really valuable for you if you're doing any marketing and targeting specific age groups or genders. You can see here, um, my biggest age demographic is 25 through 35, followed by 35 to 45, uh, and then 18 to 24s, and I like this, the 25s through 44s, you know, they've got disposable income, they can afford me, this is nice, I like where I'm at on this. Uh, over here, I've got 41% are male, the other 58.7 are female. Now that's, for all intents and purposes, pretty much half. Where this might impact me is if we had a predominantly uh, male or female uh, audience, then I might tailor most of my advertisements to that specific group, which would obviously in turn feed and get me more of those particular types of people, which would make the percentages even bigger, uh, kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy. But for all intents and purposes, my audience is pretty much down the middle. So let's go over here. We've got that. We already took a look at the age group. Oh, this is really cool too. So what it does is it breaks down um, how active those people are in that age group. So let's say that I wanted to target the 25 through 34 year olds. You can come through here, see how active they are compared to the 18 to 24 year olds, et cetera. Um, interest, this is also really helpful. So in Facebook, you can target ads specifying interest, things that people are um, either pages that they're engaging with or interest that they have. Right, So you can come here, movie lovers, shutter bugs, arts and entertainment, and I can come here to Google Analytics and take a look at some of the interests that my viewers have and plug those into Facebook to help get a higher conversion rate. So this is nice. Most of my uh, viewers like being employed, or at least they are, that's good. 
Um, dating services. Hey, all right. So maybe some Tinder portraits, right? Swipe right on that. Okay, travel, cool real estate, obviously good for me, good stuff. News junkies and avid readers, shopper, shopper, shopaholics. Shopaholics. Okay, good. Fashion, right? Cool, perfect. Uh, arts and entertainment, definitely the kind of people that I want to be in because I feel that they have a different appreciation for photography than those who would just look at it as a commodity. So good news from me. Affinity categories. Come here. Once again, breaks down by sessions, new sessions, bounce rates, etc. for the people that are um, interested in these things and what they're doing on your website. So based on this, bounce rate is um, what I believe it means is they come to your website, they look at it, and boom, they're gone, right? They bounce out, essentially. So the best people for me that have the lowest bounce rate are social media enthusiasts. Very cool. I like it. Ah, damn it, these shopaholics bouncing out pretty quick. Anyways, so we'll come down here to in-market segments. Same thing for this. So let's take a look at our lowest bounce rate, travel, hotels, and accommodation. Interesting. Uh, consumer electronics and cameras. Highest bounce rate, employment, career consulting services. I am not hiring. Sorry. Okay. So let's come down here to Geo. Go to location, or excuse me, language. Once again, tells me the bounce rates for all these. Um, well, look at this, the Russians bouncing out pretty high. So I don't know how they're finding me, but once they do, they're like, we're out of here. So, wow, 100%, check that out. Um, English, cool, all right, some fans there. What else do we got? Let's go down to location. This is kind of cool. So it's got a map. And you can see, based on the color, how many sessions are coming from different areas, which might be kind of fun if you're planning a trip to a particular part of the world. And, um, you know, maybe I'm going to go to Canada. Really don't have a lot of fans there, but, you know, who knows? Maybe something great will happen. Better luck in Russia, evidently. So, behavior. Okay. So I think this might be where we get some real value. Now... If you take a look here, we had 2,159 new visitor sessions, all right? And we had 730, so that's my 25% returning visitors coming back. So like I said, again, it's not a lot in the scheme of things. However, as a small business, a photographer, um, that's 2,889 people that came and visited my website during that period of time, it's huge, it's awesome. New sessions, bounce rates here, so returning visitors bounce rates obviously lower because they're coming back. And this is cool, how many pages do they view while they're there? And how long do they spend on there? So my new users are staying about a minute, 21 seconds, which is actually pretty good, it's not too bad. Look at this, returning visitors, spending three minutes and six seconds. So where this might be valuable is in the kind of content that I'm putting on my blog. So obviously the goal is to have people uh, be entertained, be well informed, and share as much as possible with them. So this number here will show me how well my content is doing. So if over time it's increasing, gold star for me. If over time it's decreasing, then I've got to revamp my, um, my processes see what else I can do to turn that around. Frequency and recency. Okay, so we had a total of 2,888 sessions. How many page views? We had 12,041 page views. That's people clicking around the website, checking stuff out. That's awesome, absolutely love that. So this also tells me per session how many page views I got. So for those that just came once, had about 9,000 page views, um, then we had Almost 300 people come twice, all the way down. We've had, holy smokes, we had 15 people visit my site over 200 times. Holy smokes, I don't think I've even visited my website over 200 times uh, since January. So whoever you 15 people are, thank you, right? Which is interesting. So 
Okay, so now we're gonna come down to engagement. Now, this is the most important piece to me because you could be putting your content in front of a million people a day, but if nobody's engaging with it, it's absolutely worthless. So look at this, zero to 10 seconds, which is pretty much worthless to me, really. Uh, 1,251 page views, a little over 1,500, okay? So take that off the top, it's pretty much worthless to me. Zero to 30 seconds, Mm, I don't know, maybe you can get my phone number. I don't really think you can book a session within 30 seconds with me or make that decision to, to do that. So that's the next biggest one. What I'm really looking for, I think, is a 60 seconds and longer. How many people are engaging longer than 60 seconds with my content, right? And it's not too bad. You come over here and take a look at the page views. It's pretty decent. A little over 2,500 page views. Um, for those individuals over 60 seconds. Uh, and then as this goes down, who are these people? 1,801 seconds. What are you doing? I have no idea. I don't have that much content on my website to spend that much time, but thank you. So that's a little preview of Google Analytics and the importance of having not only a website, but having a tool like Google Analytics tied into it and a few of the basic insights that I can give you to help you out, not only with your marketing, but to make sure that the content you're delivering to your clientele is the kind that's gonna keep them engaged, which is absolutely the most important thing to ensure that they come back to you and use you again, or decide to use you in the first place. I hope this helps, guys. Take care. Gotta get that. I like that boom, boom, pow, them chickens jacking my style, they try to copy my swagger.